An awe-inspiring work of art can be found in more places than just in a museum or in an art park. In fact, the masterpiece that I chose for this project is not encased in glass, protected by security guards, or even get shelter from the rain. My name is Sydney Gill. I am a freshman nursing major from Ozark, Missouri. The work of art that I want to shine a spotlight on is the mural entitled Wild Horses by the artist Susan Summerlawarka. The mural covers the entire backside of Campbell 16 Movie Theater in the bustling city of Springfield, Missouri. Simply a local farm girl from Billings, Missouri, the artist Susan Simularka got her big break by being hired as Bass Pro Shops Corporation artist during their expansion years. She was never formally trained and was able to draw and paint with intricate detail at the age of eight without taking a single art class. After Bass Pro Simularka has been hired as the official artist for the Triple Crown races, the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing, and many more events that have taken her and her paintbrushes all over the globe. The Wild Horses mural is a 30-foot tall, 380-foot long mural done with oil paint on brick and took about two months in the fall of 2009 to complete. The naturalistic approach that Summer Lawarka took while creating this piece takes into account the idea of being true to reality. Every horse was done in a way that emphasized the physiological aspects of horse anatomy. Her attention to detail of muscle structure, hair movement, and vein placement is impeccable for such a large piece. Summer Lawarka also made a point of turning and twisting the characters into various positions that would be seen if one were to watch a herd of wild horses stampede through a field. This creates balance by following the laws of gravity and motion, but it does not create symmetry. At first, it seemed there was very little to uncover in symbolism or history from this mural because of its straightforward, modern, and realistic nature. However, the use of biographical methodology in it brought to light the connection wild horses has to a homely woman by the name of Rosa Bonware, born in 1822. Rosa Bonheur was a French painter and one of the first female artists to outshine her fellow male competitors of her time, something of unheard of in this male-dominant occupation. She was a big player in the 19th century French realism movement, mainly through her detailed oil paintings of a wide range of different types of animals, horses included. In fact, Rosa Bonheur painted an oil-on-canvas illustration of some of the equine species in their natural habitat in 1889. The title of this work? None other than Wild Horses. The ironic similarities between Bonware and Summer Luarca range from their unheard-of feminine success to their shared love for depicting wild horses in their unadulterated state. It is unclear if Summer Luarca titled her mural Wild Horses as an homage to Bonware's equestrian canvas painting or simply because it fit the subject. Either way, it does seem that history does in fact repeat itself. Summer Lorca's Wild Horses mural could not be described as any other style beside realism. In the context of art history, realism was not found in the oldest recovered pieces of art because those artists had no interest in depicting what was already found in reality. The oldest surviving naturalistic piece of art emerged in ancient classical Greece in 440 BC in the Critios Boy. The Roman classical period was the first influential contributor to bring equestrian statues into society. Fast forward several centuries ahead and the first time realism comes into full swing is during the 19th century French realism movement. The use of light, shadow, and intense attention to detail sets realism apart from its competition at the time, Impressionism. Susan Sommer Lorca's Wild Horses displays all of the traits of realism, but because of the time that it was created, would be classified as modern art. Today, it is much more common to see realism done by contemporary artists than it was in the 19th century. Photography may be a strong influence for this popularity increase, since photography captures the exact reality of what it is focused on with such clarity that modern artists are commended for being able to replicate what a machine can do. The Wild Horses mural is a landmark in Springfield that reminds me of the city I lived most of my childhood in. It represents the culture that lives within Springfield's borders, but also the importance of nature to the southwest Missouri area. A dramatic combination of city and rural, Susan Summerlawarka proves that art need not be confined to a museum for only the wealthy and cultured, but that art is for the masses, to educate, to awe, and most of all.